Well, I mean, it simply comes down to, you know, if you're eating what you're designed to eat, you should live out the normal course of your lifespan unless something poisons you or kills you or, or, or shortens your life in some other way. So if you are eating outside of that, that could potentially not provide the, the essential nutrients that you need or the, enough of them and could obviously be harmful to you, which is the entire reason that I stopped eating plants and that everyone else should stop eating plants if they care about their health or, you know, really want to optimize their health because these things do have toxins. They have things that are objectively harmful to you, even just carbohydrates. They fundamentally rearrange and change your entire metabolism biochemistry. That, that is a massive, massive, massive detriment. It's a massive change. So, I mean, you're really, really hurting your body by putting this stuff in your in, in your body as dr gary fecky says there you have about four grams of carbohydrates in your body even going up one gram up to five grams is a toxic load of glucose and your body responds to it as a toxin by trying to detoxify it by raising your insulin and it's so important to get that below four grams that it raises insulin which completely rearranges your entire metabolic structure and it causes all these problems down the road as well. So it's vitally important to keep that below that toxic load. And when people have diabetes, it's basically decompensated uh, ability to, to lower the blood sugar. They start getting above that four gram mark and that starts killing them. And this is why diabetics start needing foot amputations. They start losing their kidneys. They get to develop heart disease and Alzheimer's and all sorts of other sorts of illnesses, and then they die, right? It's very, very serious. Just one gram, one extra gram of glucose. And this does all this damage to your body. And so you can do things to damage yourself. And eating carbohydrates is one of them, but it's not the only one. Plants make over, you know, around a million different defense chemicals to stop and deter animals from eating them. So you're putting these things in your body and you're just harming yourself. It's, it's plain and simple. And so we look at this from a genetic perspective. We know as geneticists that based on the length of our telomeres, we should live on average of 120 years. That's what I was taught in genetics. And I've, I've seen this multiple times since then. And so the telomeres are sort of like a molecule sort of chain on the end of your chromosomes. And we sort of look at this and they sort of they just sort of start popping off. And when they run out, that's it for that cell line and it sort of dies off. Now you can do things to lengthen your telomeres and shorten the telomeres and all these sorts of things. That's why these, these anti-aging doctors and and scientists and researchers such as uh, you know, David Sinclair, they're trying to do things all this lengthens your telomeres. Uh, interestingly enough, cancers have capped telomeres, so they never run out of, t uh, of telomeres. And that's where they can just propagate and go and go and go. So do lobsters. So lobsters, you know, Jordan Peters fav Peterson's favorite animal, they have just capped telomeres. And so they, they can just really go and go and go, basically live indefinitely in unless they're killed by something. And so that was always what I thought when I was a kid was just, you know, if, you, if you're looking for the fountain of youth, why don't you figure out how to cap our, our telomeres and see what happens there? Probably we're going to get a whole bunch of weird cancers that you don't want, but it's a thought. And based on our telomeres, you know, we should live, be living about 120 years. Okay, so why are we dying in our 60s and 70s? Why is the average life expectancy from birth in most developed countries in the 70s? And um, that, you know, that's 50 years early. That's 40, 50 years early. So something's harming us. Something's killing us slowly but surely and building up over time you know this is you know, people smoke they on average depending on how heavy they smoke they reduce their life expectancy by you know say 20 years if you're a heavy smoker why is that are you just perfectly healthy and then one day you just drop dead no you're you're damaging yourself and you're building up a, a massive body of inflammation and toxic exposure and you're getting sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker until you just you just you can't keep on going anymore. So if you don't do that and you eliminate all these sorts of things, you should just, you should just make it long. We should be making it to 120. You know, what does it mean to uh, on average have a life average life expectancy or genetically we should have a, a life expectancy of 120 years. That means that if you just stay out of your own way and don't mess up and don't get killed by something and don't poison yourself, that you should make it to 120 without doing anything special, not listening to any of the gurus, not taking metformin or all the different sorts of you know anti-aging drugs and these sorts of things that Dr. Sinclair does. 
just being alive, just doing your normal human thing. If you are actually doing your normal human thing, you should make it to 120 years without doing anything special. And yet we're dying 50 years earlier than that. We're calling that a good life. Saying someone who dies in their, at, at 82, wow, they, they had a really good life. Oh, 90s, wow, that's amazing. 100, that's amazing. They died 20 years early or 30 years early or 40 years early, right? So that's that's not, that's res in respect to everyone else living, they did, they had a good time. But in proportion of what we're supposed to live, what we're designed to live, we're dying young. So something is killing us, right? And so I think you have a lot of ground to make up before you ever start looking at the metformin or the rapamycin or all that sort of stuff. You know, you just, just eat a normal human diet and you're going to live a normal human lifespan. And you know maybe all those things will make you live to be 150. Maybe. I don't know. But um, the thing is, is that you can you already get about another 40, 50 years just by eating a proper diet. And you'll be much healthier the whole time because that's the whole thing. You die early because your health is damaged and degraded and it builds up over the years and the decades, just like with smoking, just like with drinking, just like with any toxic exposure. And eventually it just kills you. You don't do that. You're not going to get this buildup of toxic exposure, and you're just you're just going to age much more gracefully. And you're not you're not going to have all the problems uh, that they that they experience elsewhere. How do we know this? What was the evidence out for this? No one's ever lived that long. Yes, they have. So the Native Americans, again, back in the 1800s, there's there's account after account after account after account that they were living 110, 115, 120, even 130, 137 years in Chief John Smith White Wolf. And of course, we don't have an official government, you know, ID for them and a, and a birth certificate and things like that. This, these are their own accounts and they're talking about these things, but it's consistent. And throughout, you know, everywhere you go, they're just like, yeah, that's, well, that person's 108 and this, that, and the other, and they're doing fine. They're like, really? Yeah, how is that possible? They're just saying that. Well, you know, they may just be saying that, but they're, they're just happening to lie and say that they live the exact life expectancy to the exact age range that we would expect people to live if they were living naturally and 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 just living out to their genetic potential so it's very very strange that i mean they're not it's not like you know they're talking about like being like you know methuselah and things like that so, oh i'm 982 like okay yeah that's fine they're not they're saying 110 130 120 right that's right in that range that we know as geneticists you're supposed to live so that's very normal they should be living that long. And so we should be living that long as well. So Chief John Smith White Wolf, you can see many accounts. There's no hard evidence one way or the other. It's his word against against other people who just don't believe it. Right. So you see a number of different blogs. And his he said this and his family said this and his you know people said this. Um, and he died in the 1920s. And he actually has described on multiple occasions his experiences fighting in the War of 1812 as an adult. Right. So that's 110 years before he was born or sorry, before he died. He's he's talking about he, he, and he's describing what happened in the War of 1812 from his own personal perspective. So, you know, there is some credibility there. And, you know, the same people that believe the the Blue Zone uh, lies, you know, are the same people going, nah, that's not, that, that's not true. That couldn't possibly be there. There, this was, this was people's own accounts and their own, you know, self-reporting in the blue zones saying that they lived a long time. And so it's exactly the same amount of evidence that chief John Smith White Wolf and his people, uh, provided, right. Which is just their own accounts. So if you accept the blue zone data, if you accept the blue zone things saying that these are vegetarians, they live longer than everyone else, which they are not vegetarian. And actually they don't necessarily live uh, all that much longer. Um, then you have to accept, you have to accept the, the native Americans in the, in, in North America, them self-reporting this and the native Australians saying this and the ancient Ethiopians in Herodotus who were reported to live 120 years or more. There was a meeting between Persia and Ethiopia and the Ethiopian King and they started, started talking the ethiopian king asked the persian delegate say how well, what do your people eat and how long do your people normally live and the persians you know explained growing wheat and making bread from this and they said well we would live normally you know about 70 years kind of similar to us and the ethiopian king said well no wonder you live such short lives if all you eat is dirt 
is we only eat boiled meat and we only drink the milk of our cattle besides water. And we would live 120 years, sometimes much longer. And there that number is again, 120. And so he could have been lying. He could have just been trying to, you know, show a big face to the, the Persians. And yet he picked, I guess he randomly picked the exact age that we should live to on average. So you see this again and again and again and again in these carnivorous populations. We're seeing people like Maggie, who has been carnivorous most of her life, certainly in her adult life when she moved out, she's like definitely not eating another <laughs> stupid vegetable again. But even before that, she was she was like me and so many other people who just hated vegetables, really didn't want to eat them. And she just had kinder parents than most of us because they didn't force her to eat her vegetables. They said, look, she's, she's skinny, she's healthy, let's just let her do what she wants. And so, and she's, you know, 82, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm sure you notice as well. She does not move like an 82 year old. She's like hopping over fences and just climbing up. Um, you know, climb, I saw her climb up a mast of a of a little you know dinghy sailboat that they have. <laughs> Fast as hell, just grab the line, pull it down. Like, this is this is someone's great grandmother. You know, I mean, this is like it's it's pretty incredible. And so yeah, you just you if you eat what you're supposed to eat. Your body's going to work the way it's supposed to work and you're going to live as long as you're designed to live and we are designed to live at least 120 years if not longer